Recently, there's been a growing awareness in the Brisbane community of the social problems in Fortitude Valley. Part of the response from concerned groups was the opening of the Hare Krishna Food for Life Centre in Brunswick Street by an old friend of the movement, Hayley Mills. city where there is a food of life program is deeply grateful for the help that they give feeding hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people a week that would otherwise cost the city a great deal and, and all the support and friendship and um, counseling and um, you know it's hard to put a value on something like that open for only a short time, Food for Life is serving approximately 100 free plates of food per day to needy people from a mixture of backgrounds including the elderly, Aboriginal, homeless and the unemployed. In the past we've been mainly interested in law enforcement, we're now a service organisation and uh, it's imperative that we have knowledge of uh, welfare organisations that are in our uh, jurisdiction. Because regularly we come across people who are in need of assistance, not necessarily police assistance. And if we can uh, offer them information where to go for that help that they need or provide uh, where they can get accommodation, food or whatever, I think it's fairly important. Uh, rather than just leave the person out there suffering, we can now assist them to go away and obtain some assistance, basically to remove them from the... Uh, unfortunate situation they find themselves in. I see tremendous p potential for Food for Life. Uh, with the economic times the way it is, very hard for some people. And I think that you're doing a wonderful job and I must congratulate you on it. Well, we were inspired by the success of our Food for Life program in other parts of Australia and the world. And so we decided that in this area it would be great to have a similar sort of program. So we looked around for a, a suitable build, building and we chose this area because of the, the number of homeless people, the number of underprivileged people. So we rented out this shop front and um, it was very bare when we first got it and a lot of people have helped and a lot of people have donated different things to enable us to get it started. And we, we'd like to be able to feed thousands of people and we're prepared to do that, but if we can have some facility to help us then uh, that would be very possible to do. But are you allowed to cook in this building? No, um, we're not allowed. Um, the owner, you know, decided that we shouldn't, you know, he didn't want to have any sort of restaurant um, on his premises. But if we had facility, it doesn't necessarily have to be here, but in this area is, is, is good, but it could be another premises where we could cook. People have seen that, you know, we're a genuine charity group. Uh, we work hard for the community. Uh, people like Ted Noss, he's praised our work quite a lot and he even said once that we were like the uh, Salvation Army of the 21st century because it's not only the food but it's the friendship that goes along with the food. You'll find that there's many other groups also distributing food but Hare Krishna Food for Life is unique in that it offers a uh, caring attitude. So as Ted Noss said, it's welfare with a human face. Experience has shown that Food for Life operates most effectively as part of a coordinated community effort aimed at relieving basic pressures on needy individuals and families. In Fortitude Valley, this service fills a vacuum in the days of such individuals so that instead of sitting around the Brunswick Street Mall feeling hungry and unsatisfied, they can now receive a nourishing meal and the strength to carry on their lives in a positive way. <laughs> 